Welcome back. Establishing a healthy connection, Doximity is the largest social media platform for physicians, which allows them to communicate and share patient information securely to collaborate uh, in patient care. Joining us right now is Doximity founder and CEO, Jeff Tangney. Jeff, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Oh, thanks for having so me, Maria. So explain to us really the structure. How does social media help in the medical field? Well, as you know, social media and the internet has changed how we all communicate every day. Look at, look at this table. But it hasn't changed how doctors communicate because there are HIPAA laws, privacy laws, that require that physicians not use email, not use text message to talk about patients. I mean, just a few blocks away here, New York Presbyterian Hospital paid $7 million in HIPAA fines in the past couple of years for using email and things like that. So at Doximity, we provide a, a free, secure platform for doctors to communicate about their patients. And today, 72% uh, of all U.S. physicians are using it, and they're talking about millions of patient cases every year. Wow. How do you get the doctors to buy in? How did you get 72% of doctors in the U.S. to use this? Well, doctors are very busy people, so for us, it's mainly about saving physicians time. And today, 10% of a physician's workday is spent waiting on hold, you know, on the phone, waiting for another call or waiting for that faxed lab report to come in about that patient. Uh, we make that a lot easier. We let them sign their authorizations right there on their phone. Uh, we make it so that they can call patients from their cell phone and have the uh, patients see the, uh, the office line when they're calling so that they know it's their doctor calling. So some simple utilitarian tools to save them time. How, how about finding ways for patients to talk about doctors that you know one of the biggest problems I see is that it's very hard to find the right doctor for whatever condition you might have yeah so the the 72 percent of US physicians we have using us a lot of it is used to find that right subspecialist it's doctors finding the right uh, you know subpercutaneous stent uh, surgeon in town to send you to um, that's actually become our core business models helping doctors find the right referrals uh, at some point, we intend to open that up to consumers as well, but today we are a physician-only network. We have heard for decades about electronic media, uh, <coughs> medical records. Newt Gingrich talked about it 20-something yeah. years ago. And, it was gonna, and you, you go in a doctor's office, and they have these huge shelves of paper records, mm -hmm. manila folders filled with doctor's records. I mean, how does this change that? Does it, 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 are, are we ever going to get rid of all of these big paper records and make it all electronic? Well, I hope we do someday. I think we're a big part of, of that solution, making it easier for them to communicate so that they don't have to keep those paper records to fax somewhere else. But I will agree with you. Today, it's, it's a system that's still largely mired in the technology of the 1970s. So doctors in your net, on your network can't send, say, a brain MRI or a CT scan to another doctor via this platform? Oh, Dick, that's a great question. Actually, they do every day, all the time. That's, that's one of our core uses, is sharing uh, imagery, mm -hmm. sharing file reports with other physicians. Because that, that's of crit that, that is, in terms of time so reduction, is so critical. So much better than carrying so the critical. DVD around. Or having right? to drive to, <laughs> having the patient drive to the doctor's office, actually, and Just get, the, up the, DVD. And get right. the DVD, and then drive it to another city. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's incredible. Well, listen, we'll be watching. Jeff, that's terrific. Thank Thanks so much, so much for, for joining us. So we'll, we'll be watching Doximity. Jeff Tang, Tangney there. We'll